Hello guys, welcome back again. In this tutorial, we will look at programming Universal Windows application in C++ using Visual Studio 2019. The Universal Windows platform, UWP, is the modern programming interface for Windows. For Windows. With UWP, you write an application or a component once and deploy it on multiple Windows devices or multiple Windows 10 devices to be precise. You can find the most documentations on Universal Windows Platform at the Windows uh, Universal Windows Platform documentation. There you there you will find beginning tutorials as well as reference documentations. For new apps and components, I recommend that you use the C++ forward slash Windows Runtime or Windows RT, a new standard C++ 17 language projection for Windows Runtime APIs. C++ Win RT is available in the Windows 10 SDK from version 18.03 onwards. Unlike the C++ forward slash CX implementation, C++ forward slash WinRT doesn't use non-standard syntax or Microsoft language extensions, and it takes full advantage of the C++ compiler to create a highly optimized output. You can use the Desktop Bridge app converter to package your existing desktop application for deployment through the Microsoft Store. So, rather than just talking too much, we will get started. We, go, we, we continue by clicking on the create a new project. So as you can see, we have the new, create a new project dialog here. So with Microsoft Visual Studio, you can use C++ forward slash CX to develop an app that runs on Windows 10 with a UI that defines in extensible application markup language XAML. So in this video, we use we're gonna use this as you can see the VS 2019 community. But if you're using a different version of Visual Studio, it may look a little bit different for you for you. So before we go ahead, we should look at the certain requirements that we need. We assume that you have a basic understanding of C++ for slash CS, CX for S-Way, and XAML, and the concept in the XAML overview. I assume that you are using the default window layout in Visual Studio to reset the default layout. You can go to the window side here. As, as you know, I've got um, the, 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 the create new button dialog, so, but you can click on this bit here windows and then reset layouts but that's not necessarily important here yeah? so we're just gonna go on so from here what we do is we select the language which is c plus plus and the platform we're gonna select we're gonna leave it at all platforms and then we select the UWP the project type so as you can see here we've got we've got like sample project templates here that we could use some coming with a coming in a direct X template and then and then we've got the first bit blank application that is inside the universal windows at C++ was like CX so we're gonna go ahead and use this bit here so we click on the next. So here, obviously, you can configure your project by you know changing the project name, the location, and the solution name, or you, whatever solution that you want to put your project in. So here, you can change details here. So after that, then you click on the create. So here, you can select the target and minimum platform version that your UWP application will support. So 
on the first bit here you can you can draw dash because you've got nothing there on the second bit the minimum target that you can target the minimum version that you really want to but at this point we will leave it as it is as it's not really <coughs> relevant what we're doing so as the whole thing is being is being um created obviously it's gonna take some time because my computer is pretty shit but if you're coming from a background in Windows desktop programming in C++, you probably find that some aspect of writing apps for the UWP are familiar. The other aspects require some learning. So let's see what's the same. Yeah, you can use the STL, the CRT with some exceptions and any other C++ library as long as the code only calls Windows functions that are accessible from the Windows runtime environment. If you are accustomed to visual designers, you can still use the designer built into Microsoft Visual Studio or you can use the more full featured um, blend for Visual Studio. So as you can see here, uh, it's very slow to, to, to get started. So as, as um, the, the project is taking a hell of a time to load, yeah, I'll talk about what's new inside the C++ WC. The UWP. The design, the design principles for UWP apps and universal Windows apps are very different from those for Windows applications or for desktop application. Windows border labels, dialog boxes, and so on are de-emphasized. Content are foremost. Great universal Windows apps incorporate these principles from the very beginning of the planning stage. You're probably using XAML to define the entire UI. The separation between UI and core program logic is much clearer in a Windows Universal apps than in an M MFC or Windows 32 app. Other people can work on the appearance of the UI in the XAML file while you are working on the on the behavior in the code file. You're primarily programming against a new, easy-to-navigate, object-oriented API, the Windows Runtime. Although on Windows devices, Win32 is still available for some functionalities. Okay, so as you can see, we've got um, the project created now. With some other useful files have been loaded. So basically, I'll demonstrate. Let me this the template for creating the C++ UWP. So. I will explain some aspect of the code and we run it to see what actually comes out of it and what is actually happening. So in this case, um, the app that we, we create, um, for, or this app here, can, can if we develop the apps, Windows 8.1 and Windows Phone 8.1 before, you might remember that, I mean, the, the, the minimum target that we actually set means that the minimum target machine that this application can run on is from Windows 10. As you can see, target OS version is 10. So basically, if you're using the 8.0 or 8.1, you're not going to be able to run it. So first, let's look at the, the app.saml file and then the app.xaml.cpp we represent the application object which is an app entry point the app.xaml contains no page specific UI markup but you can add UI styles and other elements that you want to be accessible from any page the code behind files contain handlers for the on launch and on suspending events so we're gonna have a look at it so as you can see, we have the 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 app to some of that CPP opened, and here we've got some basic files to, to get our application up and running. Um, typically, you add custom code here to initialize your app when it starts and perform cleanup when it suspends or terminates. And we're gonna have we're gonna have a look at the main page to some and whatnot. So this contains yeah, the XAML markup and code behind for the default startup page in an app. It has no navigation support or built-in control. 
so the p so as this is open so if you can see here we've got pch.cpp and pch.h they are pre-compiled header file and the file that includes it in your app in your project in pch.h you can include any headers that do not change often and are included in other files in the solution and we have got a package.app manifest which is this one where i've got the call sound an xml file that describes the device capabilities that your app requires and the app version info and other metadata to open this file obviously Um, the open designer just click double click you, you double click on it here then you can open it, the designer but obviously we're not looking really we're not emphasizing on that so we look at running running the code now so basically as you can see here we have got the, the platforms architecture that you can use and then here we going we can run it directly on our local machine yeah or you can have a simulator or something or a remote device but we're just going to run it on our local machine you can do that by clicking on the f or pressing f5 or pressing on this local uh, machine button so i'm just going to wait for everything to run up so as you can see i've got it still like building so we're just going to take a while so i'm just going to pause it while everything works out yeah, so as you can see, we've just got um, the UWP application running. Obviously, it's a blank application with no content. But in the next video, we'll look at how we can add content and handle events inside this application. So stay tuned and stay, stay subscribed if you haven't. Please do. And have a lovely day, morning, afternoon, wherever you are. Hope to catch up later for an upcoming video. Bye-bye.